Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to my kitchen. It's uh, an unusual venue for me, but uh, my wife, of course, my wife is away over the weekend and uh, I have a Yabo to show you that I didn't want to drag out outside. But the main subject today is it's a Yabo that hasn't arrived yet. Uh, hopefully it will arrive next week. I was pretty sure it was going to come today but uh, it didn't. But I got two other things in the mail instead so I decided to go ahead with the video. Uh, the Yabo or the package that didn't get here, that's the order I talked about. Was it my last video or, or the video before? I placed an order with the smoking pipes and uh, uh, I, I took the cheap post postage option and uh, I regret that because it took ages to get here and it was further delayed because, because it, it was uh, intercepted by customs so I got a letter was that three weeks ago or something like that saying that uh, they have a, a package for me containing tobacco and uh, I have to submit certain information within a given time frame or they'll ship it back to the sender. The problem with that, that letter was that uh, the date they had set for me to answer had already passed when I got their letter. Uh, so first I thought I'll, I'll just let it go back to the sender and I, I'll make a new order and, and try again. But then I got a bit uh, annoyed uh, about them giving me su such a short notice to reply. And I, I also wasn't really sure, or I couldn't be 100% sure that it was my order from Smoking Pipes. Uh, it, I have had tobacco sent to me from the US before, and uh, as a surprise. So I wanted to make sure what, what package it was. And I phoned customs and uh, I asked them did they have any information about the sender because th th there's no info on, on, on the letter and uh, they said they said it was posted in Swi Switzerland uh, and I said I, I'm not uh, expecting anything from Switzerland and I was really puzzled uh, but then they, they said that uh, Switzerland necessarily wasn't the, the origin of the package. It had been reposted there or something. Uh, and I asked them, do you know what's inside? And they listed uh, my order from smoking pipes. So that was the, the, the order they had intercepted. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. When I called them, uh, I, I told them that uh, you haven't given me time to, to reply. And they said that's not the problem because we've got so much, uh, so many packages here that we're weeks behind. So my package was still there. And 
Yeah, and I asked them a little bit more about what information they wanted. It was basically ju just the value of the tobacco, how much I had paid. Because they needed that to calculate the extra tax uh, I would have to pay to get it. And they said they'll calculate it and they'll send the bill along with the tobacco. And uh, so when I collect tobacco, I'll, I'll get the bill for the tax. So I, at the moment, I don't know exactly how much it will be, but I'm guessing around uh, 150, 160 dollars. That's for a hundred dollar order. So, so uh, yeah. But that's the way it is. I, I, I took a gamble ordering and... And I've been uh, ordering tobacco, or getting tobacco from the US since uh, 16. So three years now. And uh, this is, is the first time I think I've been uh, busted. So, and they don't add any uh, fines. They add uh, the VAT and the tax and some import tariff. So I'm basically paying what I would have been paying if I bought it in a tobacconist here. The thing is that you can't get those tobaccos here. Uh, we, we don't have any decent tobacconists any longer. So that was my busted uh, tobacco order. Hopefully it'll get here next week. But I did get some um, tobacco today. I got a package from Scotland. And uh, I ordered this tobacco, I think it was in April or something. And I had it shipped to a friend of mine in Edinburgh since the UK tobacconists or most of them anyway. I know one that ships outside of the UK, but the rest don't. So I had it shipped to Edinburgh and he was going to come over to Sweden this summer and bring it with him. Uh, but that his trip was canceled. So uh, I asked him to, to mail it to me. And he did, and it arrived here. And it's a package in a package. He said there was a strong smell from it, so he put another envelope outside. But there is a strong tobacco smell about it. Nice smell, if you ask me. I don't know if that will show up. It's Gavitan and Hoggart Sweet Maple Twist, 200 grams. And uh, I ordered this from... Uh, GQ tobacco. They didn't have it in stock when I asked for it, but, but they uh, contacted Gavitan Hoggart and got it for me. So I'm much obliged to them. And I, I, I really love this tobacco. I, I like the, I don't know, packaging. There's no packaging, but getting huge chunks of tobacco like this. And the the smell is fantastic. It's uh, basically the same stuff as uh, brown Irish twist, but they've added some um, maple syrup to it. And that a adds a bit of sweetness. Uh, and yeah, it's really good. It it's what I'm smoking at the moment. And in.
my current favorite, one of my homemade ash pipes. And uh, I got one more uh, thing in the mail today. But b before that, I just want to show you or brag a bit, <laughs> brag a bit about uh, our kitchen. It, it, it's the nicest room in the house, and uh, the table I'm sitting at and the top of the cupboard uh, in the background and some other flat surfaces here are made from oak and it's actually oak that we uh, took down in our forest and uh, cut up in into boards and uh, had a firm make into tabletops or whatever you call them and uh, yeah it, it, it's it's uh, I think it adds a lot of adds a lot to the kitchen uh, and uh, as I said it's the best room in the house yeah enough with me bragging about our kitchen here's my second yabo of the day it's a lamb skin. Well, actually, this is a, the skin of you. Uh, we got seven skins or hides or furs or whatever uh, fr from the tannery today. It's the, the lambs we slaughtered last year and uh, Well, some of the lambs we slaughtered last year and uh, to use as well. And they're, they're really nice. I don't know if it'll show up, but they're really curly. Actually, if you look close at them, it, it looks a bit like uh, a bird's eye uh, in a briar pipe. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and sell them. Uh, to friends and uh, relatives and I don't know po post something on uh, Facebook about them being for sale and uh, in the past we've had no no problems selling our, our furs so ho hopefully we'll manage this time as well Yeah, I think uh, I think that will be all. I'll uh, make a video again w w when the package from uh, Smoking Pipes does get here. Uh, I'm a bit uh, curious to see how they packaged it because I, I asked them to, to make it discreet and they said Yes, they will, no problem. Uh, so I, I hope that there, there aren't huge stickers with, with uh, smokingpipes.com on the outside. But uh, only time will tell. So thanks for watching. Take care and uh, hope to see you soon again. Bye.